Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Razak Jinodu. Uh, it's a journey that I started to 19. I bought a goods 2018 December. I didn't know that the goods is stolen goods. Getting on January 2019, they tracked my phone, said that I should come. I refused to go. Where, where I was, I didn't know they were around. They arrested me to the, their station, Asulere. They took me to court. I with the case, my casemate and the prime suspect. Getting to the court on February 19th, I saw the, because my IPO showed me the newspaper, I said, see, you where they receive goods. Now, wait till they go face with this robbery case. Took us back to court. The magistrate called, they called on my case, they, are you guilty or not? I said, I'm not guilty. Then they took us, they gave us adjournment of one month, took us back to the prison yard, bringing the case back to court. The, the woman adjourned the case again, three months. After nine months of the case, the woman looked at me after court sitting. He speak it in Yoruba, I said, Ele yo ma then inside me, I didn't speak it out. I said, the Bible told me that I will not die, but I will live to declare the glory of God. That he that is in me is greater than he that is in you. 2021, no case, there was a riot in the prison. That's 20 October. Riot in the prison, a lot of souls. The army came inside the prison and killed a lot of souls. Bullet passed me and killed an animal beside me. And... Uh, it was terrible. Blood flowed in the field. More than 120 people died. I survived that. From end of SARS, no food in the prison, nothing. Sickness everywhere. I saw people were dying in the prison. Since that time, three months, I joined, three, four months, three months, four months, three months. Since four when? Months. Since 2021. That you went to the prison. When, did, when were you? 219. Okay, 219. February, you went to yes, the prison. February 21, I entered the prison. Then, come on the 8th of this very month, a woman of God came to the prison. Mommy, we have been hearing a lot of prophecies. You will go tomorrow. After, after this ministration, this week you will go. You will have 1,000 people will leave. 100 people will go. 200, no, all of them now. Now, story. <laughs> but come this eighth of this month, my sister, my brother, a woman of God from this ministry, I cannot even recognize her. I cannot even recognize that if I see her now. Yes, through this ministry. God has, has been bringing people out of the prison. And now, physically, people have been free. Today, I pray for anyone again that is being tied down in any prison, home and abroad. I command their release in the name of Jesus. And still, my prayer visit again, Ekoi Prison. Lord, as many, oh Lord, that are destiny that are tied down there of carelessness on the purposely dip their hand into error and God is a merciful God and a God of second chance. Let the mercy of God bring them out and let them encounter Jesus and serve God and have a change of life in the name of Jesus. The woman was prophesying. He said I was at the back seat when he mentioned the first uh, he gave this first word I said, be all these kind of people where they come, where they normal as usual. But the spirit still claim it. He said, after today, that was on Sunday, on the 8th. After today, anybody that goes to court from this week will not come back here. He will be released. 
when he, when he, when he said that, I claimed it. We, uh, that, uh, he left on that Sunday. On Tuesday, I went to court, which was 10th of May. <laughs> Prosecutor, we have, saying, we, we, we have been saying that the, the complainant were interesting, were interested. All the time we come to court, the next thing Prosecutor said that, my lord, the complainant is no more interested in this case. Mm. Then the, the magistrate said, I have a stroke at this case. Hallelujah. Turn your hands to Jesus. A bigger clap of rain. The charge and acquitted. The complainant said he's no longer interested in this case. And then the judge trashed it out. Today I pray any case standing against you, spiritually, physically, that case shall be trashed out. That case shall be trashed out. In the name of Jesus.